Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and today I have a review video. I finished cracking up in my 1989 Topps Mini League Leaders box. I already have the 1986, 1987, and 1988 Topps Mini League Leaders sets. I cracked open this box to put together the 1989 set. The box had 36 packs. Each pack had 7 cards per pack. The box yielded 252 cards. Aside from completing one set for my personal collection, I was trying to put together three sets. If I were lucky and collation wasn't crappy, I could get three complete sets with 21 quadruplicates. I was confident that I would be able to put together a second set. Based upon how I did in cracking open the 1988 box, when I fell one card short, I was hoping that I would get a third set or come very close. Let's take a look and see how I did in cracking open my 1989 Topps Mini League Leaders box. I was able to complete the first set after I opened pack number 25. The set looks awesome. Has the 1989 look and feel banner similar to the base set. A lot of great stars in the set. Hall of Famers as well. It was a fun set to put together. Every team had a representative except for a couple of the teams. I think in building this set, I was able to remember a lot of different things of the 1988 season that I had forgotten. Epic battles between the Red Sox and A's in the American League Championship Series. The same can be said, epic battle in the 1988 National League Championship Series as it went a full seven games. Dodgers eking it out in the very end and then going on to the World Series to face the A's. So a really quick snapshot of the cards in the set. The pace was a little bit behind my 1988 box. I was able to complete the first 1988 set after I opened pack number 21. I was hopeful to complete the second set within the next handful of packs just like I did with the 1988 box. Unfortunately the cards were not stacked in my favor. I fell short of completing a second set and even further away in completing a third set. I fell six cards short in completing the second set. I missed pulling out Jim Gott, my favorite player Ozzie Smith, and Todd Worrell. Cardinals, that sucks. I also missed out on Willie Wilson, Alan Anderson, and Dave Winfield. The bad news continued. If I missed out on the second set by six cards, how far out did I miss on the third set? I fell 16 cards short on the third complete set. So I missed pulling the same six that I didn't get in the second set plus another 10 cards. All total, I missed pulling Danny Jackson, Otis Nixon, Gerald Strawberry, Jim Gott, Ozzie Smith, Todd Worrell, Dwight Evans, Doug Jones, Greg Swindell, Willie Wilson, Teddy Higuera, Ellen Anderson, Jeff Reardon, Dave Winfield, Harold Reynolds, and Tony Fernandez. Where I was really bummed came in with the quadruplicates. I knew based on math I was going to pull at least 21 quadruplicates. It sucked when I ended up with 30 quadruplicates. So in comparison with the 88 box, I got 22 duplicates. In this box, getting 30 duplicates was really disappointing. In my 88 box, I didn't pull any quintuplicates. Yet in the 1989 box, the quintuplicates showed up. I ended up with 16 quintuplicates. In my opinion, that's just horrible, horrible collation on the part of tops. If these 16 quintuplicates were either duplicates or triplicates, then I would have been okay falling about six cards short of a third set. The crappy part is if I want to finish those sets with the going rate of about 18 cents per card, I'll need to spend about $4 to complete the second and third set which is actually a little under what I paid for the entire box itself. That really stinks in comparison to simply spending 18 cents on the single common I needed to complete my third set from the 1988 Topps Mini League Leader set. Although I didn't reach my goal of three complete sets, it was still very fun to open the packs and reminisce about the 1988 Major League Baseball season. It brought back memories of the Oakland A's steamrolling their way into the World Series as the overwhelming favorite, yet they fell to Oral Hershiser and the ninth inning heroics of gimpy Kurt Gibson in game one. I don't have the 1990 
Topps Mini League Leader set, so I might have to look into getting a box. If I do, hopefully it will turn out like the 1988 box and not like the 1989 box. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this review video. If you did like it, please subscribe and share. Until next time when I'm back to crack another box of baseball cards.